That's tragic. I mean, I, I, I knew all four of our officers. I did not know the officer from uh, the DART PD, but it doesn't matter whether you know them or not. It's a, it's a horrible, sad situation, and I hope that we never go through this again. I, I can say that the families are doing as well as can be. Um, the experience is still surreal for all the, all the families. Um, essentially, these were all young police officers. These are officers that um, had a long life ahead of them. Uh, fathers, um, like I said, husbands, uh, sons, I mean, that, that, are, that just came on the police department because they wanted to be good officers and help the community. And, and, and they lost their life trying to, trying to uh, protect it. I think it's a little bit of both, to be honest with you. Because over the years and having grown up here, there's been a divide of racial racial issues. And so I think we have we have a lot to talk about. And I know the officers are willing to talk to the different community leaders and whatnot to see how we can, you know, resolve the issues. And I'm looking forward to the day to where we can all come together and just really have peace and unity and joy no matter the race, no matter the you know, the color of my skin, your skin, no matter if I wear glasses, you don't wear glasses, it shouldn't matter. But it has to come a time to where we just unify. And unfortunately, this is probably what it took in order for us to really come together and unify regardless of our race.